All right, hola, what's up everybody? Today I have the MB5B from Vita Pro Pack. So that is going to be this little Frankenstein of uh, different bags that they've had in the past in one mini backpack that you can carry with you. Um, basically for your everyday service, stuff like that. It's, it's really cool. We're gonna take a quick look at it. I'm not, it's, it's not brand new. It's been out for a while, but if you guys haven't seen it or heard about it, or you wanted to see what I thought about it, we're gonna be looking at the MB5B, but I wanted to do something a little different for mine or my video. So we're gonna compare it to the MB4B and the MB3 is gonna be for reference, right? So, you know, what are the differences if you guys are looking into this lineup of backpacks, bags, one's a, just a pouch. So if you guys are interested, check out the video, stay tuned. All right, so like I said, it's uh, gonna be a quick overview of this one right here. This is our MB5B. If you open this up, I like that it has a little latch there to, to catch it. So, right, you have essentially V-swap panels, right? So they're gonna Velcro out button in as well to make sure that it's secure. And then we have essentially vertical tool storage. If you want something compact that you can wear as a backpack, but um, have storage. So very similar to some of their other bags. Um, a lot of their TP lineup, like I have the TPLC hanging here that I use in the garage. Uh, you're going to get four vertical ones here for like longer tools, two shorter, bigger pouches, two even shorter uh, pouches, a lot of bit storage. You got more vertical storage over here, which I think is really cool because usually on this you only have, which I still manage to have a, actually it goes all the way down. Oh no, it goes halfway. This little zipper pouch goes about halfway to where this, panel kind of starts like an inch in. So you have more tool storage here because usually it, on the bigger bags, like the, uh, I have the tack pack over here. When you open it, this side's just for zippered pouches and then everything has to go over here. So kind of cool that you get double-sided. Again, V-swap, you can change this out. A Bunch of little uh, pockets up here for more bit storage and little things. I like to put wire nuts or batteries in there because a lot of stuff takes batteries now. So you got that. The front is a classic MB3 or MB2 style where you have the big pouch in here. Nice little uh, clear zippered area up here. And then what they added in this one, which I hadn't noticed, is that you got an extra little stretchy pocket tucked in right here. So that's kind of cool to keep a couple things separate. Um, what I would find that useful for, because what I put in those MB3s and the other bag that I'm currently using, um, I put hand tools in there in the front, right? So you can stand up some, but if they're really short or not tall enough, they fall over and then they're at the bottom and you have to reach down and kind of pick them up like thin wrenches. All, the, all those uh, small tools can kind of sit in this little area here so that's kind of cool as if you needed any more storage on this bag because it like we're going to go over what else it has there the front here has your typical little pouch with the bit storage built into the bottom there then on the side is this this is going to have like those uh, meter pouches from the tp double xl um, where you have essentially where you can put uh, meter pouches. So on this one comes down pretty, pretty uh, wide. These are removable because I took them out of my, my uh, TP double XL when I was using that one. So then you get two little vertical pockets here because one of them is essentially for this to slide into. And these are really cool because you can put them on your pocket, like a back pocket, kind of just have it hanging there and have some hand tools with you if you want to do the whole you know, just take a, uh, an all-in-one and some pliers, you can do that. So you can put that, slide that back in there and uh, customize it to use it or not. 
This one has a longer stretchy pocket here. Got a clip on this side. You got a nice wide pocket there. This is passed through as well. If you wanna get creative there, um, tape loop, same exact setup on this side and on the back. Um, I actually started using a tablet at work or for certain things. So if you wanna put a tablet, you can fit a decent sized tablet, nothing crazy like a 12 inch pro that won't fit in here, but anything else, you know, like an eight inch, maybe a 10 inch tablet uh, would fit in here. If not, I use it to store temperature clamps. Uh, more of my wireless kit can go here. Um, so I mean, you can use it for anything you want. Backpack straps, super cool. All it is, is this little mechanism that they have up here for the strapping, which I mean, some people can say that it's cumbersome, but like, you're not gonna be doing this every day, but you just push it, slide it all the way down, push that little clip all the way into the strap that's right here and then take it out. So it's not that hard to take out, put back. I mean, if you're trying to do it in a hurry, I can see where it's gonna get frustrating, but like, just know how it works. You can get it in and out pretty easy. So they have that system going and I will say that you'll see a lot more of this in the future. Um, and I'll be able to show you that when it's released. This is the hook right here. And then they kept it simple. It just clips here on the bottom with their little carabiner. Um, so these are completely removable if you did not want the, the strap, but you still like the bag. You got these huge D rings on the side if you just want to clip on a shoulder strap and use it that way. I'm not the biggest fan of this, uh, of small backpacks, but this is a, a good way for them to, to kind of get into it and make it like streamlined to where like you can use it or buy the bag and use it or just choose a different uh, way to carry it. So this is totally optional to where you're not stuck buying a backpack that you don't want. Cause I've seen like guys like Zach quality HVAC buy the uh, tech pack backpacks and then cut the straps off cause he hates the straps. Now that they're doing this customizable thing, you ain't got to cut nothing. You ain't got to avoid warranty. You ain't got to worry about any of that. You just take them off, carry it a different way and be on your way. All right, so in comparison, right, this probably because of the doctor style um, handles is gonna be a little bit taller. So side by side, you can see they're very similar, but then the part that sticks out is gonna be these, uh, this wide mouth up here. So just keep that in mind. This is a more compact version, but this has vertical tool storage and uh, enclosed side pouches, which I think a lot of bags should have, even like the MB3 or even like the one that I'm currently using because this is gonna be your storage if you have any outside tools, right? A big, nice, it, it's nice, it's wide open, it, it's, it holds a lot of tools, I have a lot of hand tools in this one, but uh, this is much nicer, right? You don't have to worry about them getting wet, falling out, because the whole idea with the backpack is I, I'm gonna recommend that to guys that are using these and they're doing commercial rooftop uh, work. You go up on a ladder, this and that, this can swing off, you can tilt one way. Something like this can fall out of your bag, whereas this, everything is entirely enclosed. So that's the benefit of something like this. And that's why I liked the TP XL because it had a big wide open front. You would close it, it's closed, it's covered. I worked in the rain with it and then the sides are enclosed where I would have meters or other electronic equipment, right? All right, so as far as using the bag, I'm not gonna be using this one. Uh, this is the MB5B. Um, this one was sent out to me specifically for a giveaway. So this one is, is gonna be given away to one lucky uh, commenter on our Instagram because uh, they that's where we did this, I did this with Vita Pro Pack and Brian Sanders. So if you guys want a chance to win this, there's still a few days left. You can go check out uh, my Instagram, check out Brian's Instagram or even the Vita Pro Pack Instagram and you'll find the feed there. It's a giveaway bag or a giveaway post with this bag front and center. 
So I'm not going to be using this because I thought they were going to send it directly to the winner, but they sent it out to me. But bonus, we get a content video out of it. So the, the only thing is I never personally, because I was not, I know some guys get us confused. I'm not Tito, Tito Vlogs. Um, he made the MB2, not, not the MB3. He made the MB2 into a backpack using um, just some shoulder straps, right? It's not that hard to do if you guys do want to convert something like this into a backpack. There's two D-rings on top. There's two D-rings on the sides and you can make obviously a strap on each side will give you a backpack. Just clip it with carabiners. Uh, this setup is unique. I will get into it later. That's going to be a torch setup. Um, so stay tuned for that. Also the MB. 4B is something I requested and I got because I'm doing maintenance right now. So some of you guys guessed right that that has a maintenance loadout in it. So I will show you how we're doing essentially AC and ice machine maintenance with the 4B, which I think is perfect for that kind of work. This can hold more tools, hand tools, stuff like that. Obviously, you probably want to see me put it on. It is a very small like backpack so that's what it looks like the only complaint I will have I was not involved in this one so uh, they didn't get my complaint early enough uh, these are a little bit wide or wider than I would like them to be I don't know if there's a way because there is this and that's what I do use a little clip in front to kind of bring the straps in a little bit because it does fatigue um, the outside of my shoulders a little bit so I've been wearing that one they're essentially the same bag um, you can kind of see what that looks like it's a super small compact awesome bag right um, but I can already feel it because I've been wearing the other one all week for a couple weeks now and I can already feel this one hitting the same spot so I would advise you to take advantage of this little clip in the front, if that's gonna be bothering you, it'll help a little bit. So clip it. And I can already feel that I'm relieved a little bit just to bring the straps in a tad bit because I feel like they are very spaced out and wide. My only complaint with these bags, right? Other than that, pretty good, pretty comfortable. The other one's kind of light in weight. Maybe I'll throw something in there that weighs it down and we can figure it out. Um, or when I change over to the AC, because right now I'm doing ice machine, I don't need a whole lot for ice machine. Uh, but when I switch over to the AC maintenance, I'm gonna need like a meter and other things in there. So I'll swap out some stuff. We'll see if what the bag weighs, all that good stuff. But if you guys wanted to look at the MB uh, 5B in all its glory, um, this is what it looks like essentially. Using it out in the field, I can imagine that it's it's really convenient for some of you guys, especially getting up on roofs, right? Uh, or just like I was working in a hospital with the other one, being able to walk through and carry other things with you without worrying about your backpack because it's on your back. And uh, it's not as heavy as the tech pack bags, right? Those can get pretty heavy no matter what you do, even if you lighten the load. That's a pretty uh, big bag in itself, whereas like something like this, super small, super compact, but you can throw it on your back. So another option, like I said, is the MB3. That's the good, faithful, that's, you can hold a lot in the MB3. And I still like uh, the MB2. So I'm a big fan of the MB series. So now that they've expanded it and uh, you can choose between a pouch that has, no hard bottom base. That's the only issue with these, but there's no, it doesn't make sense to add one. There is an MB3B with the bottom base, but it's gonna look more in line with these because it's essentially the same body just with a hard base. So that's all you need to know, right? The MB3, the MB4B, the MB5B, the only one that's missing is, well, the MB2 is the smallest of them if you just need a few hand tools and a meter. Um, if you need more, there's the MB3, the MB3B, is essentially the same style as this where it's there's no vertical tool storage it's just all open uh, pouches inside 
basically an open bag, comes with a hard bottom base. Then we have the 4B, which is a doctor style, again, wide open. Just, I'm using it to, to hold a lot of uh, bigger things in here. All my hand tools have to go on the outside for proper storage. And then they have the 5B, which has the vertical storage. If you guys need to carry a lot of tools, essentially for service, everyday work and repairs. Um, if you just wanna be able to carry it on your back and have the option, you can do the shoulder strap. You can just carry it by the handle. Whatever you guys wanna do, this is a little uh, future proof because you can essentially um, remove the backpack straps. Like I said, there is more coming for this system, this uh, strap system that they came up with. And I'm excited to show you the next in the line. And whenever I get the okay for that, I will, I will gladly share that with you guys and hope you guys enjoyed the video. Super simple, just wanted to compare them. That way you can see them side by side, what they do. The MB4B, I'll be working on that video very soon. I've been using it for a few weeks. I really enjoy it. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you stay tuned. Uh, make sure you're subscribed. We'll have that out for you soon. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you guys for stopping by, uh, watching the video, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys.